Since I haven't done a video of the whole project, I'll kind of walk over. It had an 0360 on it, and so that came off, and you've seen that in some of the pictures if you've been following along. It's got a, aluminum interior panels that all come off uh, to save some weight. Typically, the fabric comes back to about right here, uh, or starts about right here, but on some of the different styles of Stardusters, they uh, bring the aluminum back to about uh, the pilot seat, so that'll probably be done and then just kind of walk around the uh, tail feathers and such and then we'll give it a look inside. You can see for as aged and weathered as it is, the fabric's actually holding up pretty good. There's no real damage outside of the wings uh, from that. And then the center section is taken off. It's really dirty, but overall looks pretty good. Um, cut into the horizontal here and it looks about like the, the wings did, uh, is a sense of the metal and everything all looks good. I uh, don't have a whole lot of rust outside of some really light surface rust on there uh, that will be cleaned up and then reprimed and painted. And then coming into the interior, um, all the instruments will all be replaced, uh, new radios, modernize it, take out all the heavy interior, uh, just from a weight perspective, it's a lot of extra weight uh, for no real added benefit. Um, you can see it's got a prop control on there. I'll probably go with a Caddo um, ground adjustable so that I save even more weight on the front of it. But there is some interior shots of it. All right, uh, got three of the wings taken care of so far on the Starduster 2 project. Um, I've already started and got the bottom of the fabric removed here. This has fabric from about 1972-73, I think, on it. And uh, it's really old and brittle and cracks really bad, so all of it has to be replaced. So doing a full restoration on it. But one thing about it is if you look at the top of this fabric, it actually looks like it's pretty good. Um, I mean, it'll crack when you bend it, but when you look at it, a lot of it looks okay. But when I've taken the other three wings apart, some of the things that you'll notice or I've noticed is the wood's rotten in a spot or two, or something had some water damage, or there were mice in there. So even though the paint may be great, that doesn't necessarily mean, or the paint and fabric may be great, that doesn't necessarily mean everything's gonna be good. So I've already started removing uh, the fabric and I'm about halfway down the wing at this point. So uh, I'm just gonna kinda continue going through. So whenever you have the fabric installed on here, it's stitched to all the ribs. So I have to go through and cut each individual stitch um, so that I can get the fabric off and then I have to pull it around the uh, leading edge and trailing edge and just kind of get everything broken loose. So we'll just kind of go through what that looks like. So here I'm already at the, uh, the aileron bay. So I will start down here and these stitches come off pretty easy. So it's really just a matter of uh, running a, a razor blade down it and then uh, it comes off. And then from this perspective, since the, uh, we're at the ailerons, I'll just go ahead and start a new cut around that fiberglass that'll take this piece of fabric off the rest of the way. All right, and then we got another rib here. So we'll run the blade up under there. Catch all of those. And I'll walk around here and rip it off of the front of it. And then once I get it all the way off, I'll come around the leading edge here and take care of it. I'm just trying to get kind of down and around it uh, pretty quick. So here, there's the reinforcement tape that goes down the... Uh, goes down each one of the ribs and I have to cut the reinforcement tape. It won't hardly rip past that, but the rest of it you can just kind of tear through and get to a point of uh, making it down the wing. All right, we got a fitting there.
And then here, they just put in a wood doubler to reinforce the, uh, the aileron bay uh, part coming down to that trailing edge just uh, so that the fabric doesn't pull it all in. But uh, we get a little bit of water damage here. Seems like with these being the bottom wings, any condensation or anything dripped down and it caught in this uh, aluminum uh, trailing edge and then it did some water damage to each one of the points here. So each one of those are gonna have to be uh, repaired. And then getting the rest of the fabric off is just uh, getting it where it's glued on with uh, the polyfiber adhesive. It peels off pretty quick, just kind of got to be methodical. It's a lot easier to just cut some slits in here so it comes off in smaller pieces and easy to kind of break around that curve. So looking at it, this is the wood. Everything varnish wise still looks good on it. We can see all those metal pieces outside the dirt daubers that um, there's no real rust or anything on there to worry about. So, so far everything's looking really good. Um, here is some of the sections that I was talking about that had some light water damage. Uh, you can Maybe make that out. And then as I come across the rest of them, that one looks good. Here you'll see where the wood's damaged a little bit and weathered. But overall, uh, for basically being in a barn for 40 years, it is looking pretty good. Just do some more close-ups of the metal and how it's looking. That push rod tube coming down there is, or the push rod is what uh, moves the ailerons. So you can see as the aileron moves there, that rod comes up and that rod goes into the um, fuselage and it connects with the rod from the other side. So the two rods come up together and that is how the ailerons work. And then there is a connector that goes up from here to the aileron on the top wings to make those work. So everything ties through the bottom wing and then uh, connects from the bottom aileron up to the top aileron to make it work. More dirt daubers there. There were quite a bit of mice in this area, so that's where the wood's blackened with some urine stains and such. Um, but overall, should clean up pretty well. So I said I had already uh, went through the three wings and here is just a quick glimpse of how the wood and everything is looking across the three of them. Overall, it's looking pretty good. Uh, no real concerns outside of the trailing edge on all three of them.